Greetings, everyone. This is Cursor 8 Combinations by Tricky Corp for our next Creep World 4 map. And we've done cursor maps before. You just hover your mouse over Anti Creeper and you'll get more produced in those areas. But this also has auto build with it. And the auto build script basically is a modified version of the script that Withers Chat made for Play as Creeper, which allows the human side to build out structures on any areas that have been cleared of Creeper. Of course, they're built in predetermined locations and adding that to the cursor really adds some more strategy some more wrinkles to the gameplay so if we take a look down here we have an emitter that's okay strong but also has a fairly slow interval this one has a normal interval so we've got to nullify those as our main objective we've got various standard strength flip breeder around there are no blobs there are no you know spores air sacs etc in this type of map so as we get started here what I want to do initially is just expand as quickly as I can and get them to build more and more towers get a good base of energy before they start throwing energy into their weapons and these two hills I don't have to worry about they will take care of themselves just fine because of their elevation and the fairly low creeper level to start with. If you notice in the lower left, we do have a 5.0 creeper cutoff level, which is about 50% higher than normal, but it is there and there will be a limit. They're going to reach that limit for a while on this map. So my initial bit is, okay, I've now got this AC breeder, which is not as strong as the flip breeder it's only three strength instead of six but we will still take it then get into this as quickly as possible this flip breeder here see if we can break this wave which is coming as you can see from the creeper breeder in the upper right i'm going to want to deal with that as well see a tower going down back there and that will happen periodically with the ebb and flow of the creeper you know I'm gonna let them take that cannon if they want because I just want to stop this up here now it's not gonna lower their total amount of creeper once they get going but it will stop them from eventually continuing to just pound us with waves from this area. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can rescue you. So now we're fairly secure in that. I want to expand this way. See down here, they're doing okay defensively, but they're not expanding at all yet. Let's get up here on this hill. And we're a little bit short on energy still, but improving. Now building out more connections here. And then instead of going around this way, I'm just going to try to directly across here. Get to this other hill. There we go. See if we can keep these areas secure, and if we can, we will eventually, you know, handle all this over here on our own. Okay, they want to build some cannons over here. Let's help them do that. And it helps to know, like, if you've seen the level before, you can figure out where they're going to build things. And sort of use that as a bit of a strategy. Like I already knew they were going to build three cannons in this area. And they'll build some more north of here once we get to that zone. 
So defending this area long enough for them to get these cannons up can really help. There we go. Then I'm just going to try to push out in this general area. And eventually, they will come along and build. That's where they want to try to build them. But we don't have any tower connections yet. There we go. Now we have them. We just need to hold this area until they get all of that built. So, typical time on this map, I think they should be able to hold that now. Typical time on this map is about 35 to 45 minutes. And I'm really going to aim for maybe half an hour. There also are a couple people who have actually managed to do it in under 20, so I'm not sure exactly how that was accomplished, but now that I've switched over to this side, it's useful to have, I think, a fairly even front. In other words, not, you know, be way ahead down here and be pushed further back near the top. But I want to use this top area here to push in a little bit. You can see that we're now harvesting all of the green R, which is going to be helpful to us. Of course, we can't, you know, turp and level that out or anything to get more. It's, we shouldn't need to, but we can't influence in any way what they're going to build other than by clearing areas out. So now I want to get this right here, this flip breeder. I've got a cannon over here. Then it'd be nice if we get them to build something on this side. It'd also be nice if it didn't get run back over. So I'd just like to get this area defended a little bit better. Now you can see they're still maxed out on Creeper if you look at the cutoff display, but it's still going to help us, there it goes again, to generate more AC. So that's, that's really my goal here. It's not about limiting the creeper just yet. Okay, there we go. If we can get this cannon up, then I will be happy. Because that, between the breeder, can on either side, that should be enough to hold this. Okay, so now we're going to move back here. What I want to do is go after this totem now. Because, of course, if you have a totem up with a secure connection then you don't have to worry about the creeper taking over that zone. Because it's simply going to be a scenario where the shield will push out and control it. And high ground is quite valuable in this scenario as well, as it usually is. So we need to create a little more space. Okay, there, there's a cannon and a tower. There we go. So now we just need to hold this tower, which is probably easier said than done. And wait for that totem to come online. There it is. It's going to push the creeper around and our AC. Make sure we hold this. Now it's starting to clear area out, and then we'll get some more weapons up here. All of that's going to be excellent. Now I'm going to go right next door. I want to get these. There's a little ridge in between here that's very nice. So if I can get up this hill, which I should be able to do, and that'll be our next step forward. Don't care about that cannon being lost at the moment. There 
Okay, so if we get some of these up, they will help. And you can see that area disappearing. We're getting more connections in here. That's good. Oh, I think we might be... Uh, we'd almost lost that uh, mortar. I'd really like to get all of these up without losing any, if I can. As you can see, the creeper is not making that an easy task. Now, we don't have any totem or anything on here, but it's a nice wide hill. We've got, okay, there's a sprayer now that's up and running. That's going to keep some AC flowing in this area. So we should be fairly effective at keeping the enemy away here. Okay, let's traipse down this hill. Follow this ridge. And get up onto this one. And we'll try to secure this area. Now, another item, of course, to pay attention to is the crimson over here. There's not a lot of crimson on this map, but this is a bit of a problematic area of it. So in order to make it easier to deal with, obviously our AC is the best weapon against it. I'm just going to try to push over here, but we've also got to make sure they're not coming up over this hill. If I can get to this Crimsonator, then I can cut off the flow of Crimson. And then it will dissipate eventually. And we'll be much more effective in taking over this area. We're going to lose that tower, but I'm okay with that for the moment. So there's almost no crimson back here. That's all going to go away. Now I want to push up on this hill and get to this totem. Which is not going to be the easiest thing to do. But we're going to get there eventually. Okay, lost a tower. Because we have this, you know, bursting over here, and we've also got this emitter down there we're getting kind of close to. So that makes all of this rather an interesting scenario to try to navigate. We've really just got to build up AC in this area to make this happen. There we go. Now we're getting a cannon up here. We're making progress. Slowly, but we are making progress. Okay, there's a mortar. That'll help us secure it as well. We need another tower up this way eventually. There we go. Once that's in place... I'm just going to hang over here for a bit. We're getting our reclaim optional objective. There we go. That's all secure. Okay. Now, see, this area is lagging behind. And this is a part that I don't know of a fast way to do it. I'm just going to do the best I can, which is to push in here. I want to push up right into this and then up along the left of it as well. But every time that bursts with more creeper, it makes this interesting.
There it bursts again. See if we can maybe get in here a little bit more this time. Okay, well, we limited it some there, but it's still, it's making our lives difficult. But if I don't have this under control, then it's gonna, you know, it's just gonna keep sending waves south along my front, and I don't want that. There it is again. We still don't quite have enough to push it back completely. Right along the edge now. We've got, you notice we've got like towers out here, but we don't have any more weapons yet. There's one here. That should help. But we've also got to keep them out of this. And if you look at our creeper total now, we're almost even creeper and anti-creeper. So it's actually quite important to keep them out of these areas now because they're all going to fire. They're not at the creeper cutoff level. Push up this way a little more if we can. I really need more weapons up in this area. We've got to move up farther, apparently, in order for them to do that. There we go. That's the cannon I wanted to get. We need to defend you. And once that's done, I'm hoping that's going to be enough to keep them out of here. You're up. Let's push up some more this way. The idea being the cannon is going to handle the, the southern edge there. There we go. Now we're going to be fine. Once it gets built, that is. Okay, so now where do we want to move to? Well, let's go after this. We've pretty much cleared off this breeder. Let's get this flip breeder under our control. Let's see if we can walk right up towards this totem. There's a nice bit of AC coming our way, and now we can see we definitely have the edge. It's a small edge, but we have more AC than Creeper. So the task should gradually begin to get easier for us now. I don't want to let them back in there, though. But they keep trying to come. There we go. We've got another surge of it that's going to help us. Looks like we're just barely holding it off there. I'm going to try to hang on to this now. Get that totem up. It's like maybe our mortars are going to do just enough to help it hold off there. Yep, there comes another surge. Okay, there's our totem optional objective. Let's hold on to this tower while the creeper gets pushed around. There's a mortar. Now we're starting to get some more weapons up here. Uh, 
Okay, now I'm actually going to ignore this hill just because of how close it is to this flip breeder and this emitter. I think that would be hard to conquer. So I'm going to work on swing around the right edge of this totem hill. And we're getting a cannon up there now. And I gradually want to push into this breeder. That's my next target. Oh. The creeper there coming along the shield can be tricky. So this mortar is going to be very useful for us. I just want to defend it. And we're we have the advantage now over the creeper again, but it's only increasing very, very slowly. Now hopefully I can start pushing into this and break these waves. Oh. Okay, there's a cannon that could help if we can hold it. We almost got into there a little bit, and then it started surging on me again. Let's see if we can make that the last one we have to deal with. Okay, whoops. Come on. Doggone it, it's pushing again. And again. Boy, we're having a really hard time stopping this in this area. We really need more weapons up in this area. Let's go ahead and get on this hill. You know, if they take down that mortar underneath my shield, I guess I'm just going to suffer that. I don't want to spend any more time defending it. Stay out. Stay out. Yep, there it goes. Boy, they're coming back in here again. They're persistent, if nothing else. Lost that mortar temporarily. Alright, now I've got another one about to start firing up here. Come on. Now we're starting to see this progress our way, so I think we're reaching a turning point here. Let's walk across this little slope up onto this hill. This is a nice big flat area. We're going to throw another sprayer up there. Okay, I think this should be reasonably under control. 
Although, I'm not super happy about... Yeah, we need to clear out this area a little bit more for these mortars. Okay, I think that's good. Now we're going to slide back here. And now we're going to go after this hill. So we have a 2 to 1 advantage now. AC versus Creeper. That last area over there along the top and left corner there really broke the back of the resistance, I think. So I want to secure this hill. And of course our next target is this flip breeder right in front of us to the left. Now they have little left but the emitters. So there's not a whole lot of meaningful resistance beyond that. We still have a decent amount of creeper on the map, but they're gradually running out of places to hide. There's another cannon going up. Make sure we don't let them into this breeder too much. Let's get up on this hill now. There we go. That's a cannon I want. These two cannons help defend. That should be good. Okay, now we're going to work our way down to this weaker emitter. Now, the nullify here is going to be right on the top side. Although we need to defend this here. And this nullifier needs our cursor power to defend it, because they don't actually place enough weapons around this emitter for you to be able to rely on them. Just got to wait for this to build. And now to power up. We still are gradually expanding on our own towards that other emitter. But we can't leave our attention here just yet. There we go. Now we're going to shift. Okay, we want to close in. Specifically, we want to take this bottom area down because that's where the nullifier is going to be on this one. So the final bastion of Creeper Resistance, well, it doesn't have much left to say. There it is. 
So we're just going to hold our cursor here and make sure that nothing interrupts this effort. I'll gradually close in on the other sides, but once we hit this nullifier, it's all going to be over. It's still complaining though. It's not going down easy. Even being stuck in a crater. There we go. So, just a shade under half an hour. I'm going to call that respectable. Thanks everybody for watching. Do you like this kind of map? Because I think there are some other cursor auto build ones out there if you would like to see more. Otherwise, we'll be back either way with more Creep World 4 hopefully next week.